Hello, I am Taylor Hill and I'm going to show you guys my go-to look for the fall or just my kind of everyday go-to look. Okay, so first I prep my skin. I just do like a little bit. Uh, my skin gets really dry from travel, so when I do my makeup, I always like extra prep, like I use three as you'll see, three skincare products before I even put makeup on. If you wear makeup over dry skin, it doesn't last as long, kind of. I think skincare tricks to like, look less tired is definitely taking care of like your under eyes because like I have really dark under eye circles from mostly genetics. Like, if you can't get enough sleep, I definitely think I have a lot of under eye creams. <laughs> I'm not even tired right now and, and it's, it's the afternoon and this is just me. They're always dark. And then the next thing that I do is a little bit of foundation, but I don't really like really thick foundations. This one is a, a, a skin tint with um, uh, SPF sunscreen in it. And I just put like a little on my hand. You know, if like 20 makeup artists tell you that you should wear sunscreen on your face every day, then you probably should. So I just kind of do it because you know, I want to age well, so I just do everything that I can. I learned a lot of makeup tricks from my mom because she was a beautician and worked in a salon for like 30 years. My mom used to do my makeup sometimes for like uh, gymnastics uh, competitions and she would do my hair and like braid my hair and stuff because you had to have your hair and makeup be a certain way when you competed and then I started modeling and um, learned more from the pros even though she's a pro. She still cuts my hair to this day. Next I'm just going to use a little bit of powder because I'm a little bit of a shiny person. Do -do -do. I put powder all over my face, but mostly in the T-zone. Next is concealer. I'm using two different colors because one is a little peachier and one's a little more on the yellow side, so I mix them and then I just blend away. Sometimes I use brushes, but for the most part, like if it's more natural of a makeup, I like to use my hands because I feel like it blends the product better. For like red carpet and stuff, brushes are are better because you want it to be literally perfect. Like you want it to look like you have an Instagram filter on your face with makeup, so then you want to use brushes. This I do um, to like wake up like the under eyes, like it's good a stimulatory thing. Okay, so next I'm gonna add a little color with a blush contour palette. First I'm gonna do this color right there and just put a little bit right there. I definitely play a little bit more in the city because if it's cold and wintry then you want to do maybe like a dark eye or if it's raining you feel dark inside and depressed or if it's like fall and sunny then you, you're like oh maybe like a bronze day next I'm gonna take this which is some contour and just put it right there doing it here defines your jawline and then it also like blends your foundation makeup line that we all sometimes get I hate it when that thing shows. I'm going to use some highlighter. This one's like a little bit more brown because it's fall, you know. Just put it like above the cheekbone and like on the temple. And then I'm just gonna put this also like up here. It's like a little more golden. Usually for VS we do have like um, a whole team. You want to feel like a goddess, so I want to spend as much time as possible in the hair and makeup chair. Before the Victoria's Secret fashion show, I do all kinds of preparations. I usually start about a month in advance, and I cut all dairy from my diet. No cheese, no milk, 
um, which is really hard because that means no pizza, no macaroni and cheese, none of the things that I really love, but it's worth it because I really start to notice um, a difference in my skin after like maybe just two weeks of it. I'm gonna move on to my eyes. Um, I use the same palette for my eyes. It's for your face, but I don't care. This is, this is the highlighter part of the palette. I like it because it's a little more matte and not too like shiny and glowy. And then I use the little like pinker color just like in the corner. And then I take the contour. I shape it outward into like a nice little point. Cause you know, I love a good cat eye. And that's the eye. And then I take the dark fun little highlighter. I just feel like it really defines the eye, but not, not too much in a nice subtle way. I have dark under eyes, so I don't want to make it too dark down there, but this is nice. Et voila, eyeliner. It's taken me years and years of practice to be able to perfect the art of my cat eye and I still suck at it. <laughs> but I'm gonna attempt it anyway. <laughs> my trick for it is I start out like where I want it to go and draw in. Now, I ain't no professional, so remember that, all right? I'm gonna mess this up and erase it and redo it, and that's okay. Here we go. <sighs> that was a good one. All right, I usually like to use brown because it's a little more subtle um, with this kind of look. If it's just like cat eye look, then I, I do black, but this isn't as big of a commitment. I feel like you have some room for error with a brown one. So another one of my tricks that I forgot to mention that my mom did actually teach me is for cat eye on yourself, it's hard to follow the lash line above. So she taught me to go in the water line underneath your top eyelashes to fill it in because it makes it look like it's carried the whole way but it's not actually carried on top it's carried through underneath i'm way worse at this side so it's, i think it's pretty even that's the hardest part so then i'm gonna give my lashes a good curl i love my eyelash curler i have five so that i never run out if I lose one. I always, always do black mascara because I like a bold eyelash. Even if I have nothing else on my face, I feel like they're the uh, like jewelry of your makeup look. They just make everything look schnazzy. And then I do it again, but I don't dip because it's a little drier, so then it, it separates it. It separates the lashes. So because I have really dark eyebrows and I never fill them, I just take some of the mascara away and I'm just gonna use that instead just to make them go up. <laughs> My eyebrows are out of control half the time. I never like pluck them or anything. So I don't really do anything to them. When I was like 12, 13, I used to have kind of a unibrow. So I would beg my mom to wax my eyebrows, but she would never do it. Cause she was like, you have eyebrows like Brooke Shields. She did pluck them for me in the middle just so I wouldn't have a unibrow. But that's kind of what all I do is I just pluck them right there, but not really like right here. Cause I don't, want them to have a shape, I just want them to be wild. My last touch is my lips. I start with a lip liner. I usually use a, a, a little bit darker and a little more brown than my lip color. And then I will put on the color, like a nude matte, basically, like a matte color. I usually just do like nude lips, so I want to use something that's easy to like reapply when I'm by myself, like at an event or something, or 
whatever just where I can like whip it out and just like literally go like this and know that it's gonna look good which you can't really do that with red or orange or whatever okay so then I'm gonna use a little bit of a lighter one and then I go like this I just like the way it feels so like rub it in with my fingers I guess well that's it I'm done bye